what up how's it going so june she's making big statements again we'll see how this goes will the women finally start the uprising right like or i i don't even need it to just immediately go to straight up violence but i need to see the groundwork being laid for something i need to see some communication between the the revolution that's uh happening on the midwest and the west apparently hey man fuck gilead let's go ahead and start this episode <laughs> Okay, we got some bells, we got some bells. Is it going down like The Undertaker? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Who among them can be persuaded? Who can be turned, ignited, to burn this shit place to the ground? Girls, God's eyes are upon you. Best behavior. Girls, our most blessed handmaids have given us God's children. They have earned the best view. <laughs> what a glorious day for our precious Angela. I saved a spot for you up front. Of Joseph, of Matthew. Seats of honor also. Thank you, Aunt Lydia. Sweetheart, Anna does not need to be sanctified by a bunch of holier-than-thou child molesters. Okay, a little louder, Mother. Do you think that your father would care? He spent a hell of a lot more time at Fenway than he ever did at Mass. Listen, we're here with no one else. You got it, Chief. I ought to feel hatred for this man, but it isn't what I do feel. What I feel is more complicated than that. I, I don't know. know what to call it. Believe me. It isn't love. The writers have let us know. Brothers and sisters, welcome. We gather on this sacred day to thank the Lord for his greatest gift. He's cute. I'm going to say, I'm going to say the obvious. It's, it's one thing if you sit there in that wooden chair stool thing, sitting behind her, acting like you're giving birth. A uh, baby comes out. Baby, when they're young, sometimes... They they can be nondescript, but sometimes they look exactly like who they dropped out of. Uh, and then sometimes, sometimes uh, the baby is a completely different race. <laughs> and we just going to act like this shit is normal. I hate Gilead so much. This black woman just got to sit there like that's That's a uh, young Korean woman holding my child acting as if it's hers. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll deal with it. <laughs> By coming before God and his people, do you declare your desire to dedicate yourself and your child to the Lord? We, we do. do. And do you vow to pray for and encourage these parents to raise their children in the fear of the Lord? We do. There's some bizarre. And horseshoe. you promise to encourage these children to receive his guidance and instruction? We do. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have you ever seen, I think it's the Greek Orthodox Church. <laughs> where, Today. Where the Father was dunking that baby. We are grateful to God for these beautiful children. <laughs> like some dunkaroos, he was flipping them like, fluke it, fluke it. But we Thank must never God. forget. Shit. The innocent child that was stolen from us. Oh, oh shit. The daughter of Gilead. Oh Staying shit. By evil. By an unrepentant sinner. I'm so sorry I couldn't find a space. It's okay. The commander and Mrs. Putnam have been exceedingly generous to invite you all to the reception. I can't wait to see her. Of Howard. I expect you to be what? A good girl. Make me proud. This is like when I got that certificate to McDonald's for being on the principal's list. <laughs> I heard most people got pizza, Hut, but for whatever reason, you got to go to the McDonald's right across the street. I'll never forget what you did for Angela. She wouldn't be here if you hadn't been on that bridge that day. Blessings on you and your family, Mrs. Putnam. Bless you. And you ain't gonna thank her? Bless you oh, okay, too. I was about to say. Have I missed anything? Just the usual. 
jello shots, charades, little karaoke. I didn't see you at the dedication. Quit trying to yuck it up, June. You're pissing me off. I'd hate to be a distraction. Yucking it up. Do you regret it? Not leaving here? Not without Hannah. At least there's still hope if I'm here. There's Oliver. What? Remember. That's an inter interesting way they did it, right? Because on the outside, the pictures are of just her and him. And then you go to his room, though, it's the, it's the whole family. So he definitely remembers. That's you. She made sure. Fighting to get back home. You know. Okay. I'm not supposed to hug you till you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we don't hug until we're both ready? Would that be okay? Yeah. I'm so happy to see you. I'm really sorry about what happened to you. I prayed, I prayed so hard when I found out for you to get better. We all did. And Lydia, well, I wish I could. I'm sure. <laughs> elbow dropped you off the top oh. fucking step. Really? <laughs> Just. I know what the girls think of me. And they blame me for Emily. I should never have saved her from the colonies. I'm glad you saved me. And Lydia's doing her job. She's doing her best. Her best? Did she burn you, Breeder? You can't blame Aunt Lydia for that. Bitch, who can I blame? I'm sorry. Yeah, I We're all trying to make it through this without making any trouble. I'm concerned about Serena. She's been having a difficult time, but she can't keep hiding at her mother's. I'll talk about I don't it think she's you. satisfied planning flowers and knitting sweaters. Oh, you don't fucking say. So do you think you could be open to change? Did you maybe give her a real voice? <sighs> Behind the scenes. Well, if that would fix things. It's worth discussing. Yeah. But she hasn't said more than two words to me. I should get back to the buffet. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on here. It's actually hard for me to look at the screen. Is cringe the word we use? Because I don't. What are we doing here with the show? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? The commander wants to reconcile. He wants to make things right, but he doesn't know how to do it, so... I made a suggestion. There better be some speech at the end of this episode where she's like, this is all part of my plan. As Mrs. Waterford, you have influence. Access. Power. Up to a point. So move the point. He is lost without you. Serena, wear the dress. Strings. Don't trust Serena though. Work with her, but always have your plan. This is interesting, them using smoking in this way. But I used to, my, my mom, she would have the essence and ebony, and then you'd have jet. And I always looked at the jet because they had the jet beauty of the week, right? But when I would see, I would see all these cigarettes uh, ads. And the ones I remember was Virginia Slim. These cigarettes were part of your professional aesthetic. It almost was a signal that you're a new type of woman. So to see her almost pass it on to June, it's like, okay, this is, a, this is our world that, we, that we're shaping, right? Interesting. She'd be wearing her, uh, her uh, like suit with the suit pants, and she'll just have a... Like the jacket right here. They had one specially made for black magazines. So it had this uh, tall, slender, like black chick. And she's like smiling. Cigarette right here. Jacket right there. There's some shoulder pads and some shit like that. Oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Look, I, I typed in Jet Virginia Slim ads and it's like a whole part of the internet. See? 
they would show. So that's interesting for them to utilize that, right? With its smooth teeth. Oh, me too. With its smooth teeth and long, narrow jaws. That'd make me cry even harder. Once he said, what me too, I'd have lost it. Like, oh! To catching fish than hunting land animals. Oh. Oh. Hi. You're so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh, here come the, here come the cattle prod. Can I hold her? I think that's enough. Wait. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. What are they doing here? What are, what are they? What's the swerve here? Thank you. You're welcome. By God's grace. She could have a little brother. What? Or a sister. Of Howard. Of Warren. I want to be your handmaid again. Okay. Isn't that what you all want? Mind your tongue. I just, I want to be here. I can make them a good one again. I can, I just want to be with my daughter. Janine, <laughs> no! I just want to give a Don't baby. Don't give Janine. Stop her! Stupid girl! Stop her! Stupid! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! No! No! What? Yeah, you look crazy. My deepest apologies. I'm about to be fired, ain't I? <laughs> She's like, damn. You ever had that I'm about to be fired feeling in your stomach when you went home? You're like, damn, I'm about to be fired, ain't I? <laughs> hey, when that shit happened on a Friday, you be waiting for the phone call all week. You're like, god damn. And you show up on Monday, like, I guess they're not firing me, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out of that crying. You participated in this shit too. I think I'll head to the hotel, check in. Damn. I was wondering would she stay? Okay. Of course, that would be way too hard. Difficult for everyone involved. I'll stay for a little while. Is she okay? She's been through worse. That's what you get. Terrible, of course, for both of them, and that is exactly why the system was designed to prevent this kind of thing from happening. I'm sorry, Mrs. Waterford, they're probably waiting for me. A young girl of Hannah's age, the daughter of a commander, would most likely attend a school for domestic arts. But seriously, I think, I think today was important to say thank you to God. You know? Yeah. And this is busted. Within 24 hours. You know that man? Yes. His name? Is it Lucas Bankhole? Yes. Yeah, um... We're not our parents. We're like godparents. Right, well... Her, oh, they're trying to christen the baby. Wife. And my best friend. And she'd really want us to do this. Where is the mother? She's in Gilead. This little one should be absolved of their sins. In the name of the Father, 
I know that song from Old Brother Where Art Thou. I don't know what the stakes are anymore. And that's where it worries me because is it a is uh is it her getting out of Gilead with Hannah? Is it destroying Gilead? Now, normally that would lead me to some sort of excitement, but I've been expecting them to be getting it in with Gilead by now. It hasn't happened. I expected her to bounce, and she did it bounce, and she's right back. Um, so that's that's where my worry is. And then just the way it came off where she's talking to Fred, and then she talks to Serena, it it seemed very soap opera to me. But... I was like, okay, if she has a plan going on in the background where, where she deals with them, they think they have something going on, each of them. And, but she has her own thing still going, but it just doesn't seem that way. And, uh, you know when she does her little voiceovers? I've yet to hear her basically like explicitly state that, yeah, I'm like, you know what I mean? Let's put it this way. Hannah is the reason she's back. Well, all her voiceovers ain't about Hannah at every given time. Like, they're always about the just Gilead as a whole. That worked in the first season. For one, you're trying to teach the viewer because we don't understand what's going on. Two, she's trying to get used to everything that's going on. This whole thing is crazy to her, right? But now it's she got a goal, a singular goal. Right, like the goal is, before it was like hopeless. There was no other side. Now it's, at least I thought it was a singular goal. Let's put it that way. But she's talked about them becoming a nightmare. So are you back for Hannah? Or are you down to to ride against Gilead? Or is it both? And if it's both, I don't, that can't be done, can it? Right? Like that that can't be done. You can't gain Hannah and try to fight this system. Uh Serena. She as I said, I don't I've already said everything I got to say about her during the episode, as you saw. Um, I pretty much said everything. I will say it's interesting for them to have the intel and have found uh <laughs> the baby. And they're like the baby's back with him. Is is this, you know, Luke, blah blah blah. But I just hope, let's put it this way, Canada already on some human rights shit was like, we're not fucking with them. So I had like a slight worry. Well, maybe they're trying to use some sort of bargaining. Like, hey, if we get that baby back, we can do, you know, because that's a high ranking commander. Uh, Fred is. But yeah, th- I, I turned on this episode and I actually want to see where they take it, though. It just, it seems... As if this, it's not moving. Really? Yeah, we uncovered some new things. Like even with Aunt Lydia, we saw that. I, like I said, she got PTSD. Uh, you saw her go off, but nothing really moved. It like stuff happened this episode, but it didn't move anything anywhere. But hey, next episode. <laughs>